Hey everyone, Dan Heilman here, and this is going to be another Path of Exile video. Today I am going to be talking about loop filters. I'll show you how to create one, uh, what you should do while you're creating it, and how to turn it on in game. So let's begin. All right, so what they are. So when you when you have items on the ground, they look like this, right? This is only because I have a loop filter active. So if I go into options and turn off my loop filter and just go to the default filter, that's what they look like. If I have no filter at all, they all look the same. You know, you can customize your loop filter like crazy. You can change the border, the text color, the size, everything, drop noises. So they're very powerful in this game. So let me go back to my normal loop filter here. You can see this is everything that I have dropped on the ground. And let me show you how to create a loop filter. So the very first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go over here and you're gonna go to filter blade. and you want to go to this filterblade.xyz. This will help you set up your filter. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is choose your strictness. Um, I use semi-strict. This kind of shows, this is basically how much you want to pick up. If you like picking up every item in the game, then use like a regular. If you don't want to pick up a lot of items and you only want to pick up items that are, are very valuable, go to very strict. I use semi-strict and I think that is a great place to start. I, I use semi-strict and I leave it like that and, and that's all. So you can go, now that I chose semi-strict, there's different styles, you can mess around with these, do whatever you want. There's different presets, um, if you like different things that you can add on here. It's very customizable in here. Um, but let me just show you what I do every time I create a loop filter. So I choose semi-strict here. I go to customize and what you're going to want to do here is things like divination cards and currencies are varying in value depending on the league. So right now we just started a new league. So what I want to do is I want to go into currency. I want to go into general currency and I want to hit this auto sort button. This is very important because this will go and choose what currency looks like depending on how rare it is. And if you don't change this by league, then it may be outdated and some things that are worth a lot may be shown as not being worth very much. So this is very important. So just press this auto sort button and what it did is it went through and it changed all these categories here for me. So it automatically put the proper cor uh, currency into bins for me. Okay, so now you can see what tier items they are and what they're gonna look like when they drop, okay? So now that I did that for currency, I'm also going to do that for divination cards. Hit auto sort and it will automatically sort them based on the current league I'm in right now. Uh, let's do unique items, let's hit auto sort. And I think that's it for auto sort. Yeah, so that's it for auto sort. So definitely do the auto sort, very important. I cannot stress that enough. Um, so here you can mess around and see how things look when you uh, when they drop, right? So if you wanna mess around and see how they look, you can do that. You can just hit generate loot and you'll see exactly what these items are gonna look like. And then say, let's generate some valuable loot, right? So then you can see and test what these are gonna look like. So this is, um, you know, a div card, and then this is a six socket, stuff like that. And this is really gonna help new players because if you don't know what things are worth, this is gonna kind of point out, and the things that are larger and have a nice border around them and have a, a really loud drop sound, you're gonna wanna pick those up. So this, this is definitely is gonna help you with that. You can mess with all the colors, borders, background colors. I don't mess with any of this stuff. Um, Never Sync is the person who puts these filters together, and he does a great job. I, I really don't mess with any of that. So the only thing I, I definitely recommend is doing this here and doing the auto sort for currency, unica, unique items, and divination cards. Now, so once I'm finally ready to actually download it, what you can do is you can sign in with Path of Exile and um, it like links it to your account and you can choose it through there. I don't do it that way. So I, I've been playing this game for 10 years. I still do it the original way just because I'm used to doing it. Uh, and it's very simple. So I don't I don't wanna link my Path of Exile account to this uh, random website. I just wanna drop the file in. So what I do is I first call it the league. 
So 3.14 is the patch. We're in ultimatum. And I just use semi-strict so that I know this is a semi-strict. So, um, I know it's a semi-strict filter. Now hit download and you'll see it downloads it here. Sorry, it downloads it here in the bottom left hand corner. So all you want to do is hit right click show in folder. Now that's going to pull it up right here. You can see this is dot filter here. So this is the filter type you need for it to be a filter. Now all I do is I right click, I hit cut, and now all I have to do is go to my computer, documents, my games, path of exile, and drop it in this folder. It's that simple. So now I just right click, I hit paste. You can see now 3.14, it's in here. That's my filter and I'm good to go. So now all I have to do in game to activate it is, all right, so we're right here. I just did my new filter. So let's drop a couple of currency, a couple of items on the ground and let's change our filter. See, so yeah, I'm on this one I made earlier and then now I went to this new one. And you can see it changed. So I, these are the two same filters. All I did was the auto update. Um, and you can see that it actually ranked down alchemy orbs. So obviously they're not worth as much in this league as they normally are. So there you go. All, so all you have to do is update it here. So just choose whatever you just called it right here at the very top of UI. Click whatever the one you just made. Hit the load button right here. Hit save and you're good to go. That's your loop filter. Easy as that. All right. Hope you enjoyed the video. Go down, smash that like button, subscribe to my channel. I will be making more Path of Exile guide videos. So this is just one of the first few. All right. Hope you have a great day. See you guys.